Hello, my name is Tom Rummage at the Applications Engineering Department here at Micro Measurements. And today I'd like you to work, introduce you to the Field Workshop Kit, or FWK-5. This can be used if you're planning on training a number of your employees and you want to have our traditional beams and uh, the, the materials necessary to do some projects. So let's open this box up and have a look at what's inside. First thing, pretty obvious, gauze sponges. These will be used in cleaning up your surface preparation. There are two aqueous solutions, the red tip bottle, which is conditioner A, the mild phosphoric acid solution. The blue tip bottle, which is neutralizer 5A, which basically is the stop bath or to neutralize the conditioner A so it doesn't continue to etch your part. There are cotton tip applicators. Don't call these Q-tips. They are uh, basically the Q-tip or, or the brand Q-tip uses a plastic shaft and that will leach into your uh, gauge site and cause problems. The cotton tip applicator with the wooden stick doesn't have that contamination issue. What in the world do we have a 4-H drafting pencil in here for? This is for burnishing our alignment marks on our beams when we do the experiments. And there are two beams in here, both of 2024 T4 aluminum, with the appropriate marks on them for loading them uh, in fixtures that we have designed. You can put your gauges where you like and load them up as you like. You can make calculations as to what your, your data should look like. There's a roll of 361A20R solder. It's one of our easier solders to work with, 6337 10 lead solder. It has a rosin core, so you don't have to worry about uh, having an additional flux. For surface preparation, we have two silicon carbide abrasive papers, SCP2, a 320 grit, and SCP3, a 400 grit. These are designed to be used to dry abrade and wet abrade the beam to get the proper surface finish for your aluminum beam in these projects. There are two bottles, little mummies here, one of which has got m -code A in it. It's a, a polyurethane uh, material for environmental protection. The other has rosin solvent in it. And this rosin solvent is used once you solder your gauge in place and your lead wires are in place. If you leave the flux behind, it'll cause problems. The rosin solvent allows us to put that flux into suspension and blot it away. There's a set of lead wires, two of which are stripped, one of which is not. Uh, these are used in conjunction with the projects that we would normally use. It allows you to wire up the CEA gauge and make a measurement. It also allows you to wire up the differential bending beam uh, that is also uh, done in our workshops. And finally, there's a package of gauge materials. We've got a CEA series of gauge in here, a couple of EA series of gauges in here, and also bondable terminals and the lead wire, the intra-bridge lead wire for a half bridge circuit, along with a, a beam that we use for uh, demonstrating the high elongation capability of an EA series of strain gauge. And that, my friends, is the FWK5 kit. If you'd like to get more information about this, See one of the applications engineers and we would be happy to provide you with a list of the materials that are provided here and how to use them. Thank you very much.